be some kind of hoax. No, according to the article, the water in the reservoir tested positive. I can't believe my mother used to date a man who wants to kill the whole town. I feel for about the bad relationship, but no guy, no matter how bad, could kill everyone in Port Charles, Molly. TJ, look around. There's no one here. Who knows how many people have already died? Nobody's died. Okay, look. Death toll, zero. All right, people are just panicking, like someone else I know. Yeah, it's true. I have a tendency to be dramatic. But the fact is, the water is contaminated. And I drank the water. Yo, Sean, can you please tell her how much toxic stuff you were exposed to in Afghanistan? Everything from water to soil in the air. See? And he's fine. Look, the most dangerous thing we're dealing with is panic. All right, I want you both to stay off the streets. All right, people can start to riot, and there aren't enough cops to keep order. I already volunteered to help the PCPD if they need extra people. Well, I want to volunteer. Now you want to volunteer? Clean behind the steaming table. Oh, come on. You're seriously going to make me work when the whole town could be gone by tomorrow? What happened to we're going to be fine? Like we are. No matter what, all you need to do is keep living. You sound like my mother. <laughs> she told me it's important to go on with my normal life. Well, Alexis is a smart lady. It does help to keep busy. That's what my mom does when she's worried. Shocking. Where's your mom? At work? Uh, no, she said something about going to see Dr. Drake at the hospital. Look, I've got something I need to do. I need both you guys to keep your eyes on things, okay? Right, well, I'm not doing the catch-ups, okay? You make that call yet? When did I have the chance? TJ, get it done. Or I will when I get back. Carly? Hey. <laughs> Hey, Sean. Hello, hi, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Can you say hi to Sean? Hi, Sean. Hey, it's good to see you looking so well, little lady. Hey, Michael told me you led a prayer for Jocelyn when she was sick. Yeah, I just wish there was something else I can do, you know? I, I feel so powerless. It's hard to imagine your whole life over just like that. I know. I guess we just all assume we're going to live forever, huh? Maybe it's an opportunity. Maybe it's a chance for us to finish some unfinished business. So, how are things going with TJ? Oh, we've come a long way here now, you know? It feels like family. That's great. Well, there is another person, a woman. That girl you were seeing. Oh, no, 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 that's over. No, I ended it when I realized I had feelings for someone else. Well, unfortunately, I never got a chance to tell this other woman how I felt. We're monitoring your husband, and we have him on fluids. But I, I, I want to stay with him. Look, I will have to let you know when we move into a room, okay? Hey. You may not have as much time as you think. Okay? Come on, baby. Let's get home. We'll get to the hotel and wait for Daddy, all right? Come on. See you, Jocelyn. Bye. Come to the phone right now. Leave a message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Alexis. Hey, this is Sean. How's it going? Not good. People are stacking up. Well, I'm not going to keep you. I just want to find out if you had any luck with the not sample. Yet. But I'm not going to give up. I'll let you know. Thank you. Alexis. Oh, Sean. I'm sorry. I know that you called. I just haven't had a chance to call you back. Uh, no worries. No, this message is better delivered in person anyway. How are you? No, I'm all right. Well, but by the way things are looking, I might not be for long. And if I'm going to die, I want to make sure I do this. 